Thank you for your interest in Bethel University. My name is Blake and I'm a recruiter here. Applying to Bethel University is simple. Let's go through the process together. First, you will visit BethelU.edu. Here in the right-hand corner, you're going to see Apply. We're going to click this button to continue. Then you will see several applications here on our website. We're going to click Undergraduate Student Application. If you have not applied to Bethel University before, we're going to select Register. Here you're going to be asked several different questions, starting with, are you currently enrolled in high school? Are you applying to attend classes while still enrolled in high school? Next, do you wish to attend the McKenzie, Tennessee campus? You will need to live on campus or reside within a 50 mile radius of McKenzie, Tennessee to attend as an off-campus resident. Next, you will enter your personal information. We will require you to fill out each column, including your social security number. This helps us match up your information to your FAFSA. Make sure to enter a valid email address that you check regularly. After you have filled out all of your personal information, you will receive a small alert. You will automatically be taken to our application. Next, you will fill out all of your information. With this application, you're going to see questions such as, when do you plan to attend Bethel, your intended major, your career objectives, if you plan to live on campus, how you plan to attend, and what degree you are seeking. You're going to continue filling out this information. If you have not taken your ACT yet, please just let us know and send your scores once you take the ACT. Again, as you continue filling out this information, you will scroll down to the bottom and click Save and Next. Here, you are going to add your emergency contacts and click Save. Here, you are going to add a new emergency contact and once you are done with that, you will scroll down to the bottom and click Save. After you are certain you have put all your emergency contacts in, you will then click Next. The next screen is going to be your interest screen. Here we ask that you only select one interest. If you have multiple interests, please just give us a call and let us know what those interests might be. After you have selected your interest, please click Next. Here you will fill in your high school information. You will fill out your ACT, test date, and composite scores. If you have not taken your ACT yet, please just let us know, but that is not required to put in your application. Once you are complete, you will click Save and Next. Last up is the FERPA. This is a form that releases information regarding your student academic record, your performance, and your financial information. If there is anyone in your family that needs to be on this form, this is where you will fill this out. On this form, you will create your own password. It needs to be three letters and three numbers that are memorable to you. You will click save and continue on. Then you will scroll to the bottom and once again click next. Here you will review and submit your application. The most important part here is to click the submit button once you have confirmed all of the information. Without clicking submit, the application will not be sent to us for processing. Now that you've completed your application, if you have any questions, you can contact the admissions office at 731-352-4030. We look forward to seeing your ACT scores and transcripts come through so we can mark your file ready for review and hopefully get you accepted. We'd love to welcome you to the Wildcat family.